in this video we are going to be talking about five things you should eliminate immediately from your own because they cause hardship poverty and stagnation it is important that you pay close attention to what i'm going to be teaching you in this video if you've been having difficulty in attracting and retaining money things are not working for you the problem might be caused by one or two of these things that i'm going to be showing you in this video if you don't believe in the law of attraction then there is no point in watching this video this video is not for you if you don't believe in the law of attraction or if you believe whatever we are saying is superstition then you can exit this video immediately hi you are welcome back to our channel smart idea tv where we talk spirituality if you are new to this channel consider subscribing and if you are a returning guy thanks for always watching our videos like this video share it and comment down below show your sign of gratitude comment thank you the universe thank you the almighty for blessing me with abundance it is done there are five things plus one one bonus that i'm going to be showing you in this video that you need to eliminate from your own immediately these things cause hardship they cause blockages they call, cause poverty and are causing stagnation if you can remove them then prosperity will come to your home money will come abundance will come the first thing i'm going to be showing you is use clothes or old clothes clothes that you are not using again you see one thing about all these things is that we ourselves and everything we own they have energy of their own they have energy they radiate that energy and the energy can be negative and can be positive they can be negative if you are they are not serving the purpose you have them are uh, for in the first instance then they will be positive if you are seeing immense benefit in them so the first thing is clothes that you are no more using these clothes have no business in your homes again because already they at least they are usefulness they have some energy the energy used to be positive while you are using them they, you are enjoying them they are bringing you immense benefit you are happy with them but since you are not using them again they start bringing negative energy so you have to discard them but before you discard them just hold the clothing just hold the clothing in your hand just hold the clothing like this in your hand then you speak gratitude to that clothes just try the, just tell the clothes that just be thankful to the clothes for the little time that you share together because while you are using it you are enjoying it just thank god for bringing that clothes to you that time then after then you can discard it if it's still new if it's fairly new then you can dash it out if not you can just throw them away or burn them the second thing that you should eliminate from your home is broken objects for instance mirror broken mirror broken mirror broken mirror is never good in your home i've done a video previously talking about broken mirror that you need to get them away from your house I'm going to be linking that up for you here. Broken mirror or broken objects, a lot of us tend to glue them together, to fit them together. But no, since they are broken, 
they have outlived their importance. You don't need them again. Instead of having them around, it's better you get them away and bring new one, new things. Buy new mirror. Broken mirror or broken objects, any broken object that you use on a daily basis is not good. It's not good. So this object, broken mirror, a lot of us are guilty of this because we tend to say they are still useful. No. But in spirituality, little, little things matters. Because like I said in the beginning, all everything that you own, including yourself, you, add, you radiate energy. So initially, they were positive. But when they are broken, you don't need to mend them together. Just discard them because they become negative. And they might be bringing you uh, stagnation, poverty. And this, even physically, me are looking at it, by using broken things, you are inviting poverty into your home. The third thing that you should eliminate immediately from your home is old shoes or shoes that are dirty, that you just want and dirty. Don't bring them into your home. Because one, the shoes that you want, uh, want to somewhere, you are coming in and you are bringing it to your house without cleaning it. You don't know, you step into so many places. So you are coming in with your shoes. In spirituality, this is not very good. It is not very good because you are bringing different negativity from outside and you are bringing it to your home. So if you have shoes, dirty shoes in your home that you did not clean, they might be source of negative energy and they might be the reason why poverty is visiting you. It causes drought, it causes stagnation. There won't be progress, there won't be progress. So old shoes or shoes that are dirty, you want them, then clean them, is not good in your own. You should try and remove them immediately. Take them out, clean them. Then you should have a place dedicated for keeping your shoes. If you are coming from outside, don't use the shoes to step into your house. Remove the shoe before you step into your house. Clean them, dust them, then you can take them in. Then put them in a dedicated place. Don't put them anywhere because even cluttering shoes around is another source of negativity. This takes me to the fourth one. The fourth thing is clutter. Clutter. If your house is dirty, you are inviting negativity into that house. And that might be another source of poverty and stagnation. If you notice that your house is somewhat cluttered, then you have to try to reorganize the house. Make sure you clean your house on a daily basis. No matter how busy you are, make sure you clean your house every day. Clean it, use deodorant, I mean use perfume, use a, a freshener. Let good spirit come into that house. Because bad spirit lives in a very dirty environment. Bad spirit, negative spirit, negative energy, domicile in a very dirty environment. So, if you want positive energy in your home, you have to make sure your house is clean all the time. Have good air freshener, clean everywhere. If you wake up, make your bed. Don't just wake up and go like that. Clean your bed, clean the environment before you even step out. One, doing that, you are inviting positivity to the house. And anywhere you see positive energy, then there must be progress. But in case the place is dirty, cluttered, then that is negative energy. And a negative energy will bring poverty stagnation, lack of progress. The fifth item that you should remove immediately from your home are objects and things or clothes 
that belong to people who are no more with us, who are dead. If you have clothes or objects or things belonging to people who are dead, you don't need to keep them in your house because they are dead. Give what is dead to the dead. Since they are dead, just remove it from your house. Remove it. You don't need to start keeping them. I'm not praying for anybody to die, but if you happen to have uh, things belonging to people who are dead, it's better you remove them. Take them away from your from your home, and you see fresh of bread here coming. I mean, bread of fresh here coming into that house, because anybody that has things and that person is dead, those things are no more useful. They are no more useful. They have, they are, they have overstayed. They have outstay. They have outstay their importance. And what you need is change. Since that person has changed, because the person changed position from being alive to not being alive. So you have to do away with all the objects belonging to them. The objects belonging to them, like clothes, shoes, personal effect, and everything. Just keep it away. I know some people will even hang pictures of dead people and everything. Just pack them in a place and just try. Don't display them. They are old because there is a change has, take, change has taken place. You have to change with it. Just invite fresh energy, positive energy into your own. And the last thing, the last thing that I'm going to be giving you that's the bonus, making it the sixth item that you should move away or you should eliminate immediately from your own is broom. This might not be applicable to almost everybody, but if you have broom in the home that you use to sweep the outside, the compound, don't take it into your house, into the room or into the bedroom or just don't take it. Once you use it outside to soup outside, then you are not taking the broom into your home again. Or don't borrow broom from anybody. Don't borrow broom from anybody. Don't take broom. You know, some people are in the habit of, like in a local setting where you are close to each other, please let me use your broom. Don't borrow broom. They are a source of negative energy. And also, brooms that are worn, that you use and very worn, they are worn out. Remove them from your home immediately. Remove them. Buy new brooms. Because not buying those things, you are invite, if you are using the old one, you are inviting drugs and poverty in your home. It, all these things, if you can just remove or eliminate these things from your home, then positivity will be your own, will be your portion. Positive energy will come to you. Removing these things, you are removing negative energy from your home. But I'm imploring everyone here to have open heart. Do these things. Remove them because one or two of this video, one or two of this uh materials that we discuss might be the cause of stagnation of your poverty of your lack of breakthrough if you enjoy this video then you are going to enjoy this video that i talk about three things that you should never take from anybody here until i come your way again Remain spiritually intelligent. And don't forget, we can succeed together. Thanks.